Can you explain what stem cells are in simple terms? Stem cells are a fascinating part of our biology. Essentially, they're our body's raw materials, the cells from which all other cells with specialized functions are created. Think of them as blank slates with the ability to transform into many different types of cells like muscle cells, brain cells, or skin cells depending on what your body needs. What exactly makes stem cells so special compared to regular cells? What makes stem cells unique is their ability to regenerate and repair tissues. While most of our cells have a fixed purpose, skin cells will always be skin cells. Stem cells can divide and become various types of cells. They also have the ability to replicate themselves, which means they can continually generate new cells for healing and renewal. This is why stem cells have so much potential in medicine and in products like ours at Robles Biosutics. How do stem cells contribute to the body's immune response? When the body faces an infection, it releases signaling molecules called cytokines. These cytokines signal stem cells to ramp up the production of immune cells such as white blood cells to fight off the infection. Additionally, stem cells are always at work, producing new red blood cells, especially in low oxygen conditions, which helps maintain the body's overall health and immune function. How are stem cells used in dermatology and anti-aging treatments like our product GlowCell? In dermatology, stem cells are used to boost the skin's natural regeneration process. With our product GlowCell, we leverage the signals that stem cells use to repair damaged skin. These signals include growth factors and exosomes, which can help stimulate your own skin cells to regenerate and produce more collagen. This can lead to smoother, firmer skin. Essentially, it mimics the body's own healing process. How are stem cells sourced and prepared for clinical use, especially those from derived umbilical cords? Umbilical cord stem cells are typically sourced from healthy pregnancies and they undergo rigorous testing to ensure quality and safety. Before they can be used in clinical applications, these stem cells are processed in a laboratory where they are activated and purified. This ensures that the cells are in the best possible condition for therapeutic use, providing safe and effective treatments. There's always talk about safety when it comes to new science. How do we know stem cell-based products are safe? Safety is a top priority for us. The stem cell technology we use does not involve live stem cells, which is an important distinction. Instead, we're using the communication signals like growth factor that these cells naturally produce. These signals are what instruct the skin to repair itself. Since we're working with natural processes, our products works harmoniously with the body, which makes it very safe. We've also done extensive research and testing to ensure that our product is effective and safe for everyday use. What are the risks of using animal stem cells in therapies and how do they compare to umbilical cord derived stem cells? One of the main risks of using animal stem cells is that they can provoke immune responses in humans, potentially leading to autoimmune reactions. This is why there's a growing preference for human derived stem cells, particularly those from umbilical cords, which have been used extensively in clinical applications without adverse effects. Their safety and efficacy have been well supported through years of research and practice. Another concern is the possibility of zoonosis, which is a cross-species transmission of infectious agents. In the early 1990s, a series of publications demonstrated culturing of pig cells with human cells, resulting in formation of a never-before-seen virus that came about by genetic recombination of pig and human DNA. Such newly formed viruses could cause the next pandemic. What role do stem cells play in the recovery process after an injury like a stroke? Stem cells play a vital role in recovery because they produce growth factors and exosomes, which are molecules that help promote healing. Research shows that individuals with higher counts of stem cells tend to recover better from injuries such as strokes. The ability of stem cells to regenerate damaged tissues and accelerate the healing process is one of the reasons they are so promising in therapeutic treatments. How are stem cells used in the practice of medicine today? The main use of stem cells today is in the treatment of leukemia and other blood-related cancers. The only curative approach for these diseases often involves using high-dose chemotherapy and radiation to destroy the patient's leukemic cell. However, this process also eliminates a patient's healthy blood-forming stem cells, 
In the early 1980s, scientists discovered that transplanting bone marrow which contained stem cells could save animals that had been lethally irradiated. This breakthrough led to the development of bone marrow transplants for humans. As the stem cells in bone marrow are capable of producing new, healthy blood cells. One of the most powerful demonstrations of stem cell therapy was during the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, where many lives were saved by administering bone marrow stem cells. The radiation exposure had destroyed the patient's own stem cells, halting their body's ability to produce blood. The transplanted stem cells helped restore blood cell production, proving to be a life-saving treatment. Today, bone marrow transplants remain one of the most successful procedures in oncology, saving tens of thousands of lives each year. What is the difference between stem cells that make blood and other types of stem cells? Generally, there are two main types of stem cells, blood-forming stem cells known as hematopoietic stem cells and tissue-repairing stem cells called mesenchymal stem cells. Hematopoietic stem cells are FDA approved for the treatment of leukemia and other blood disorders. However, mesenchymal stem cells have not yet received FDA approval for therapeutic use in the United States. In other countries such as Japan, Korea, Canada, and Australia, mesenchymal stem cells are approved for treating conditions like complications from bone marrow transplants and lung failure. When will mesenchymal stem cells be approved in the United States? For any medicine to be approved, it must successfully pass through three phases of clinical trials. Phase one focuses on testing safety, phase two assesses therapeutic effectiveness, and phase three confirms therapeutic benefits using a double-blind, placebo-controlled study. Unfortunately, many stem cell products advance through phases one and two but fail in phase three. This is often due to the inherently high placebo effect associated with stem cell therapies. Research has shown that the more exciting and costly an intervention appears, the stronger the placebo response tends to be, which can complicate the evaluation of actual therapeutic efficacy. However, if a mesenchymal stem cell product successfully completes phase three, it would be eligible for approval. What excites you most about the future of stem cell technology in dermatology? What excites me most is the sheer potential. We're only scratching the surface of what stem cells can do. In dermatology, we're seeing how they can help reverse signs of aging, but in the future, they could be used to treat scars, wounds, and even more complex conditions like hair loss or pigmentation disorders. The ability of stem cells to regenerate and restore gives us the hope that we can develop even more advanced treatments that work with the body's natural healing abilities. Looking ahead, what do you see as the future of stem cell research and its potential impact on healthcare? The future of stem cell research is incredibly promising. I believe we are only beginning to scratch the surface of what stem cells can do, not just in skincare, but across many areas of healthcare. In the coming years, I expect to see more advancements in regenerative medicine, where stem cells could be used to repair or even replace damaged tissues and organs. There's already exciting work happening in treating conditions like spinal cord injuries, heart disease, and neurodegenerative disorders using stem cell therapies. As our understanding of stem cell biology deepens, we'll likely see more refined, targeted treatments that could revolutionize how we approach chronic and life-threatening conditions. For Robles Biosutics, we're committed to harnessing this potential in the field of dermatology. Our goal is to continue innovating and expanding our product line to offer more regenerative, science-backed solutions. Ultimately, the hope is that stem cell technology will become a standard part of both preventative and restorative healthcare, improving quality of life for millions of people worldwide.